What's up guys, this is the top 10 Slayer Magic in Fairy Tale. Special thanks to the Fairy Tale subreddit community for participating again. Don't worry, a few more times and I'm done. This is my redemption video. Since the first we see mixed reception from both the Reddit and YouTube community, it can either be the reason that is a sad weeby topic or that is a trash video, just like me. Some were surprised. Some were brutally honest, and some were still dot dot dot. Sorry, I will not be covering the dual element forms since one needs to blend two slayer magic to take form, and God Serena's drying slayer magic due to the lack of techniques shown in the series, which sucks because he had earth and water drying slayer magic in his arsenal, and there were four unknown ones. <sighs> Sad days. Number 10, the Lightning Gosslayer with one vote. The Black Lightning is mostly used for pure offensive and destructive purposes, possessing monstrous amount of voltage to vaporize solid matter and defeat individuals with large eye-catching techniques like a Black Lightning Spear that enshrouds an individual and black electricity, a concentrated beam with wild branching electrical discharges, and directing for maximum magical output to cast vast destruction, cladding one's arm and black electricity to discharge lightning god's charge particle cannon. Number 10, the fire god slayer with one bolt. The black flames of god do not burn like the usual fire we all know of. Rather, with its lethal potency, it serves as halberds that consume everything and anything in their path. Adept at casting large and deadly area of effect spells that engulfs all in a massive stream of black flames, and changing the properties of the black flames like shaping and condensing their flames to form the fire god scythe for large scale slashing, and a pair of mouth shaped claws to trap rays to become the fire god supper, eventually reducing them to ashes. Number 9, the white dragon slayer with 3 volts. A sacred element that has been described as holy and pure. The light of justice, purifying all evil, forcing them to suffer the judgment of the holy light. The user is capable of consuming anything white. Speaking of white substances, the white dragon slayer has supported spells that can either enhance his power or immobilize his opponents. White Drive an aura of light that cloaks the user's body, amplifying the power of the White Dragon's Slayer magic and physical prowess. White Dragon's Claw, a stigma the user engraves into the target's skin, resulting in restricting their movement. The White Dragon Slayer has a wide variety of distinct projectile attacks, ranging from White Dragon's Roar, which can either take the form of a tornado of light released from their mouth, or a fully charged compressed laser fired from their mouth. Holy Breath, a large quantity of light released from their mouth. Holy Ray, a volley of homing white beams striking its targets in rapid succession. And Holy Nova, the white dragon slayer's most powerful spell, an explosively releasing of stored light upon impact, resulting in a massive sphere of brilliant light. Number 8, the Poison Dragon Slayer, with 4 volts. The poison produced by the Slayer magic is claimed to be so highly potent and corrosiveness that everything it touches will decay. Unlike other Slayer magic that imbues one's respective element into their fist to enhance their physical strikes, the poison Dragon Slayer magic bestows upon its user scales for additional durability and claws coated in poison that induces ill effects upon its targets such as slowly stealing the movements from the victim's body away and the deterioration of the target's bodily functions, causing the target to suffer more pain and agony than an enhanced strike, thus making all their techniques as lethal as a venomous snake bite. With even the slightest injury from a poison dragon slayer technique can cause progressive weakening, health degeneration, and lingering harrowing numbness. If the poison dragon slayer is on the defensive and an intense Tense battle, they have a set of spells to defend themselves and flip the tide of the fight to their benefit. Like creating a large shield of poison to guard themselves and notify incoming attacks by launching a wave of poison. And last but not least, his most fearsome technique. 
Poison Dragon's Roar, a deathly poisonous breath that injects and floods a lethal virus into the target's body, with each passing second brings that victim to death. Number 7, The Sky God Slayer with 5 volts. The sky's ultimate magic, producing, shaping, and manipulating air to form fierce yet controlled spiraling black currents such as Sky Gods Boreas, a large black whirlwind that's named after the god of north winds in Greek mythology. Sky Gods Dance, streams of black wind lifting the targets to the heavens. Sky Gods Bellow, a massive tornado of pressurized black air drilling a target to oblivion and the most elegant and beautiful Slayer Magic spell. Heavenly Gathering of Clouds An accumulation of feather-like shaped black winds are compressed into an elongated mass. Thereafter, the four heavenly wings composed of black air approaches the target at high speed. And not only do they possess complete dominance over the skies, they're capable of utilizing a form of magic which was thought to be long lost. They're able to employ a restorative power on themselves, healing injuries in a matter of seconds, simply by breathing, and can otherwise heal others. Number 6, the Shadow Dragon Slayer with 8 volts. One is given the ability to fade themselves into the shadow, to move swiftly, elude attacks, and surprise targets, sinking into the depths of the shadow for unpredictable and tangible movements and dealing sudden yet sharp free-flowing shadow techniques, an abnormal fighting style to adapt against, giving the small window of susceptibility when they emerge from the shadow world. They have numerous shadow spells that cloak their bodies in shadows for increased physical and magical strikes, beneficial in the arts of assassination. Number 5, the Sky Dragon Slayer with 12 volts. Unlike other types of Slayer magic, the Sky Dragon Slayer magic is more equipped for the role of support, as opposed to being geared towards offense. This magic utilizes the lost arts of healing, capable of manipulating clean air to perform various impressive and miraculous feats, purging anomalies in the body, revive people that are in a near-death state, restoring the body internally and externally, including a patient's fatigue and body stress, however they cannot heal their own injuries. In addition to healing, Sky Dragon Slayers can also grant support in battle by enchanting their allies casting supportive spells that temporarily raises one's sense of balance, enhance the target's movement speed, offensive power, and defensive power, etc. Despite healing and enchantment being its main abilities, it also been blessed with absolute mastery over the skies, expelling inescapable wind barriers at alarming velocities to crash into their targets. Number 4, the Lightning Dragon Slayer with 11 volts. Possessing incredible high voltage, being capable of momentarily paralyzing targets, making it easier for the user to take them out with a subsequent attack, unleashing powerful blasts of electricity to do immense damage to the immobilized targets, such as Raging Bolt, Lightning Dragon's Heaven War Halberd, and Lightning Dragon's Roar, or the old fashioned Tussle. Fist to fist cups. Number 3, the Ice Devil Slayer with 13 volts. One can potentially single handedly freeze an entire village made up of giant inhabitants and an internal flame, somewhat manipulate the ice of others, instantaneously freeze a large radius or an individual with a mere flick of the wrist, and construct intricate weapons made of ice to severely damage and freeze targets completely solid. Number 2, the Iron Dragon Slayer with 17 volts. One can cover their body in iron scales that's stronger than normal iron. They're also able to modify parts of their body into iron, which can be shaped into a number of forms for different purposes. Cutting, piercing, increased striking power, etc. And when one wants to cause maximum destruction, one utilizes the secret art of raising their potential damage output. Karma Demon, Iron God Sword a gigantic iron sword for maximum cutting, Karma Demon Iron Spiral, 
a giant drill that rotates at high speed for maximum piercing. An iron dragon's roar, a stream of sharp metallic shards and shrapnel for maximum shredding. Number 1. The fire dragon slayer with 18 volts. The flames of emotion. Fuck logic, anal magic is suiting sweltering oppressive flames, ending motherfuckers off technique, insert overpowered Natsu's son. 